think you can look at a lot of the people that have come from here, uh, success they've had both in business and politics, and uh, it's been proven, you know, that uh, we've got something that's kind of magical about a small state of Arkansas. In a life dedicated to his family and his farm, Stanley E. Reed also managed to serve his fellow farmers of Arkansas, his state, his country, and the world. Many forces pulled at him, the pull of practicing law, the pull of public service. But the biggest pull, the one that always had a hold on him and the one that won out, was the pull to be a dirt under his fingernails farmer. But cotton, all the work was done by hand. We chopped the cotton by hand. Uh, we picked it by hand. The traits that served Reed well throughout his life were instilled in him from the time he was very young. He was always genuine, someone everyone could believe and trust. Those values stuck with me, you know, through my whole life. And even when I was growing up, I was, was encouraged to do the best that I could do. Uh, don't ever, uh, don't ever be satisfied with, with doing uh, your second best. Born August 1st, 1951 in Milan, Tennessee, Reed grew up in Mariana, where his father farmed about 300 acres. Reed was salutatorian when he graduated from high school in Mariana in 1969. He went to the University of Arkansas, where he earned a Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Engineering. While an undergraduate, Reed was president of Sigma Alpha Epsilon Fraternity, president of the Interfraternity Council, president of Cardinal 20 Honorary Society, and a member of Blue Key Honor Society. Reed married Charlene Berner, also a University of Arkansas graduate, on June 16, 1973. Charlene, is, she's the glue that holds everything together, there's no question about that. He graduated from the University of Arkansas School of Law with highest honors in 1976. That same year, Reed scored the highest grade on the Arkansas bar exam. He and Charlene moved back to Mariana, where he established a one-man law practice but the pull of farming was strong once he was back home. In 1978, he rented farmland in Mississippi with his father and started scaling back his law practice. I have no regrets that uh, I didn't practice law. Uh, you know, a lot of people thought, well, you're gonna regret it, you know, because you're not practicing law. And I've never looked back on that decision. Always looking for an opportunity closer to home, Reed rented land in St. Francis County, Arkansas in 1986 and began expanding, eventually farming 8,000 to 10,000 acres. His involvement with Arkansas Farm Bureau began around that time too. I saw that Farm Bureau uh, was an important organization to represent an industry that I'd given my life to and I expected to be involved in the rest of my life and we needed someone uh, to be that spokesperson and uh, I, I saw that Farm Bureau could make a difference. Throughout his time in Farm Bureau leadership roles, Reed saw changes sweep through agriculture and used his engineering, law and public service skills to help fellow farmers. He worked tirelessly promoting agriculture, rural Arkansas, and farm families. He understood the need to improve trade relations with foreign markets for Arkansas agricultural products, leading agricultural missions to nine countries. Part of our mission at Farm Bureau is to, to, to disseminate information about the importance of agriculture and the importance of farm families uh, to our economy and to our culture. And because I think so many people don't realize where their food comes from, they think it comes from the grocery store, they don't realize it has a genesis back on somebody's farm. The Reed Farm is now a 5,500 acre operation engaged in the production of cotton and soybeans in Lee and St. Francis counties in Arkansas. The Reed family was named Lee County Farm Family of the Year in 1984, and Reed was inducted into the Arkansas Agriculture Hall of Fame in March 2012. It's still, still controlled by farm families, just like ours. You know, we're farming 5,000 acres instead of 500, but we're still a family farm. Though his professional life focused on farming, Reed never lost his love for education and public service through education. Governor Mike Huckabee appointed Reed to the University of Arkansas Board of Trustees, where he served from 1998 to 2008. He was chairman for his final two years on the board. Reed was a co-chairman of the University of Arkansas Campaign for the 21st Century and served on the University of Arkansas Agricultural Engineering Advisory Board. He was honored in 2005 with a Distinguished Alumni Award from the College of Engineering. The university tentacles reached all parts of the state and how important higher education, access to higher education was for the future of our state. And I saw that going on in the community colleges and providing educational opportunities for people who, who, who wouldn't have had it, uh, you know, had that community college not been on their campus. He was chairman of the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences College of Medicine Advisory Board. UAMS established the Stanley E. Reed Memorial Chair in Emergency Medicine, Trauma, and Injury Prevention. Arkansas Farm Bureau set up the Stanley Reed Leadership Award, which is presented to a young adult in the organization who demonstrates the type of leadership qualities Reed demonstrated during his life. I think you've got to pursue your passion you're not going to be successful or really be fulfilled in life. 
Also active in community affairs, Reed was a member of the First Baptist Church of Mariana, where he served as a deacon and was a youth and adult Sunday school teacher for more than 20 years. During all this time, we were very active in our church, and uh, you know our kids were born and during that time, and just you know all kind of church programs, and just I mean we had them in the church same way I was in the church growing up, except Charlene and I were there together with them. And uh, that, that played a pivotal role that you could focus on the important things of life. It wasn't just about the farm. You know, we weren't so focused that that's all of our uh, goals. I mean, we had family goals, uh, spiritual goals, uh, raising our children, being involved with them. I mean, it's just very fulfilling from that standpoint. As a state and business leader, Reed served on many boards and committees throughout the state. He was a charter member of the Arkansas Academy of Biological and Agricultural Engineering and served on the Arkansas Soybean Promotion Board, the State Support Committee for Cotton Research, and was a past alternate board member of Cotton Incorporated. You got to go where your heart tells you to go, and uh, so that's always been kind of that's been my guiding light through the years. And uh, you got to trust your heart. Through it all, Reed's family played a key role in his farming and his life. By his side throughout the years of running the farm was his wife Charlene. Their daughter Haley is a part-time teacher in Little Rock and is married to Andy Davis. They have three children: Anna, Kate, Jack, and Haven. Their son, Nathan, currently operates the family farm. He and his wife, Kristen, have twins, Jane Ann and Eldon, and a new baby girl, Catherine Ruth. Their youngest daughter, Anna, recently moved to South Carolina from Rwanda and works for an international nonprofit agency. She previously worked at the Arkansas Children's Hospital in Little Rock. We'll see where, where life takes us. Uh, you know, if God calls me home today, I'm ready to go. You know, I've lived a fulfilling life, and uh, I know we're... Where my final resting place is, I have confidence and I believe God's Word and uh, I know God has a place prepared for me and uh, if He calls me today, I'm ready.